I'm going to show you this little notion. What? A hockey puck? It's not a hockey puck, I promise. But it will save you a whole lot of time when it comes to chain piecing. Turn it so that the little hole is facing up. Place a thumb on each side. Now pull the two pieces apart. They are held together by several magnets. They're not too strong, making it difficult to open. However, they're just strong enough that the pieces stay together nicely. Remove the flower. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. You'll also need a used 45 millimeter rotary blade. By installing it in the blade saver, you give your blade just a little extra life, as well as adding a really nice notion to your sewing room. Although it may be dull in certain areas, it's definitely sharp enough to still cut you. So please make sure that you're careful when removing the blade. This will work with any 45 millimeter blade. Now we can just put the flower back in. It's just like a little puzzle. Grab the piece that has the flat end, put that through first, then take your little Phillips screwdriver and tighten it down. You line up those half circles and it'll snap together. We'll take our flower, pick a petal, doesn't matter which one, place that right in the middle. By placing a petal in, it aligns it in such a way that you can safely put two fingers on the top and easily push it in. And then you can take your chain piecing and start separating your pieces. You can do it right from the center or you can use one of the side blades. As one slot becomes dull, you can rotate the flower. Need sewing supplies? Come visit us at sewingpartsonline.com.